Have you ever wondered which animal is the loudest in the world? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on a sonic journey through the animal kingdom. Let's start with the basics. Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations. When any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles. These particles bump into the particles close to them, which makes them vibrate too, causing them to bump into more air particles. This movement, called sound waves, keeps going until they run out of energy. Animals use sound in many different ways. Some use it to communicate while others use it to navigate or find food. But some animals, they really crank up the volume. Take for instance the blue whale, the largest animal to have ever lived. Despite living underwater, these giants can be pretty loud. Their low frequency pulses can reach up to 188 decibels. That's louder than a jet engine at takeoff. Imagine having a jet engine in your living room, now that's a party. Next up is the howler monkey. These little fellas are the loudest land animals. Their howls can reach up to 140 decibels. That's like standing next to a speaker at a rock concert. So if you ever feel like your music is too loud, remember the howler monkey is probably out there giving a whole new meaning to turn it up to 11. But the crown for the loudest animal goes to the tiny pistol shrimp. Despite being only an inch long, their snap can reach 210 decibels louder than a shotgun blast. To put it in perspective, that's like having a firework go off in your hand. Talk about a loud surprise. Well, there you have it, the loudest creatures in the animal kingdom. From the deep blue sea to the treetops of the rainforest, these animals really know how to make some noise. So next time you think your little brother or sister is being too loud, remember the howler monkey. Now let's talk about something a bit scarier. Do you know which animal is the deadliest? You might be thinking of lions or tigers or bears, oh my, but the real answer may surprise you. The title of the deadliest animal goes to, drum roll please, the, uh, the mosquito. Yes, you heard it right. These buzzing nuisances are responsible for spreading diseases like malaria and dengue fever. Imagine something as small as a grain of rice being more dangerous than a lion. Next on our list is the box jellyfish. Don't let its squishy blobby appearance fool you. This translucent terror of the sea is armed with venomous tentacles that can be as long as five basketball players stacked on top of each other. Its sting is so potent, it can cause heart failure. So, if you're swimming and see a floating plastic bag look-alike, it's best to swim in the other direction. Last but not least, we have the saltwater crocodile, the largest living reptile today. You wouldn't want to play tug-of-war with this creature. Its bite is as powerful as a T-Rex's. It's like having a car fall on you. These crocodiles are excellent swimmers too, so don't think you can outswim them. These creatures might be scary, but they're also incredibly fascinating. Each one plays a unique role in our planet's ecosystems. The mosquito, for instance, is a vital food source for many species of birds, bats, and other insects. The box jellyfish's venom is being studied for its potential in treating heart diseases. And the saltwater crocodile, well, it helps control the population of certain species, maintaining a balance in its habitat. But here's the deal. While these animals are surely captivating, we must remember to treat them with respect. They're not villains or monsters, but simply animals trying to survive, just like us. So if we ever cross paths with them, let's give them the space they need. After all, we're just visitors in their world. Remember, these animals are fascinating, but it's always important to respect their space and safety. If there were an Olympics for animals, do you know who would win the sprint race? Hold on to your fur, folks, because we're about to dive into the world of the fastest creatures on land, in the air, and under the sea. These animals are so swift, they'd give a speeding bullet a run for its money. Let's kick off this race with the peregrine falcon. This avian athlete doesn't just fly. It soars, swoops, and dives at breakneck speed. Picture this, you're a bird, just having a nice flight, when suddenly, whoosh, a peregrine falcon zips by, reaching speeds of over 240 miles per hour. That's faster than most sports cars. Talk about a bird on a mission. Next up, we have the land speed champion, the cheetah. The spotted sprinter is the Usain Bolt of the animal kingdom. With a body built for speed and agility, the cheetah can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. Blink and you might miss it. This feline speedster is not just quick on its feet, it's also the master of the chase, using its incredible speed to hunt down prey. But let's not forget our aquatic speedsters, the sailfish, with its long, slender body and crescent-shaped tail, 
is the fastest swimmer in the ocean. It can swim at a speed of 68 miles per hour, making it the Michael Phelps of the sea. This speedy fish uses its speed to catch its favorite meal, schools of small fish or squid. So there you have it, folks. The fastest animals in the sky, on land and in the sea. These creatures are not just fast, they are furiously fast. They use their super speed skills for hunting, escaping predators, or just getting from point A to point B in a flash. So if you think you're fast, just remember, you're not cheetah fast. Who do you think is the largest animal in the world? If you're picturing a dinosaur, well, you'd be right, if we were talking about the prehistoric world. But in the present day, the title of the largest animal goes to the magnificent blue whale. This underwater giant can reach a whopping length of 100 feet. That's about as long as three school buses parked bumper to bumper. Can you imagine that? And it weighs as much as 200 small cars. Now that's a heavyweight champion. But let's not forget about the largest land animal, the African elephant. This grand and graceful creature can grow up to 13 feet tall. That's like stacking two average-sized cars on top of each other. And their weight? Well, they can weigh as much as 10 small cars. It's a good thing they don't need to find a parking spot. Now, if we venture into the forests, we'll find the brown bear, the largest predator on land. An adult male can stand up to nine feet tall when on its hind legs. That's taller than your average basketball player. And they can weigh up to one and a half tons. That's about the same as a small car. So if you ever meet one, it's probably best to be very respectful. So we've got the blue whale in the oceans, the African elephant on land and the brown bear in the forest. Each one is a giant in its own right, and each one is a testament to the wonderful diversity of the animal kingdom. So next time you think you've grown a lot, remember the blue whale. And hey, no matter how tall you grow, there will always be an animal out there that can make you feel small again. But that's the beauty of our incredible animal kingdom. It's a humbling reminder of how we're just a small part of a much larger, wilder world. Now that we've learned so much about the animal kingdom, let's see how much you remember. All right, let's dive right into our quiz. I'll ask a question, give you a moment to think and then reveal the answer. Ready? Here we go. Question one. Can you recall which animal we discussed that's known as the loudest creature in the animal kingdom? That's right. It's the blue whale. These gigantic sea creatures can communicate with each other over hundreds of miles. Moving on to question two. We learned about some deadly hunters today. Can you name the bird that can dive at speeds over 200 miles per hour to catch its prey? Yes, indeed, it's the peregrine falcon. They're not only deadly, but also the fastest animals on the planet. Now, for question three. Speaking of speed, do you remember which land animal takes the crown for being the fastest? Excellent. It's the cheetah. These spotted speedsters can reach up to 60 miles per hour in just a few seconds. On to question four. We talked about some real giants in the animal kingdom. Can you remember the largest land animal we discussed? Absolutely right. It's the African elephant. Their size is truly mind boggling. Finally, question five. This one's a bit tricky. Can you name an animal that's both deadly and fast, but also a bit bizarre? Give it a moment. Got it? It's the cone snail. These slow moving creatures pack a venomous punch and are surprisingly one of the most deadly creatures in the ocean. Great job, everyone. Remember, the animal kingdom is full of amazing creatures, and we have so much more to learn. Until next time, keep exploring.